you have integrated open ai into your application so now after such a hard work you are on your must have vacation sipping coconut water fit in the sand and you get a message message is from your client saying your application is down so now you get panic you check the log check the server everything is perfect then you check the open ai api api outage so now you get panic and for your fallback you integrate cloud entropy provider now you think that everything is perfectly fine but is it now you have two api to handle two different provider to handle it's twice the headache but what if there was a framework which can solve everything effortlessly that's where langchain come into the picture working with a large language model can be challenging it's like building a house with just nail and hammer with so much of specialized tool in the market which can get your job easier you are working with hammer and nail it's same like working with a langchain langchain provides such a specialized tool and integrations which you can leverage in your ai application instead of directly integrating the ai app it will make your job way easier so in today's video we'll understand what is langchain we'll understand what are the main features that langchain provide us then we'll compare the main features with side by side with the direct llm integration we'll see how langchain provides you a best solution which you can leverage in your day to day life while integrating the ai application working with large language model can be challenging it's like building server from scratch you write python's code for everything like building api writing documentation integrating different different tools and everything instead you have such an amazing frameworks in the market it could be flask it could be django it could be fast api so will you create server from scratch using python or will you use such framework i think you got the answer same is the case when integrating large language model into your application will you use direct llm integration or will you use langchain you will get the answer by watching the video till the end because we are going to compare main features of langchain with the direct llm integration and at the end i will also give you when to use direct llm integration and when to use langchain so stick to the video till the end because we are going to answer all of these questions so langchain is a open source framework specially designed for the integration of large language model like open ai cloud anthropy etc so there are so many models in the market it act as a middleware layer which help us to connect the llm to the external source memory user input and act as an agent so main feature of langchain are multimodal integration we have so many providers in the market it could be open ai it could be anthropic there's and each and every provider has so many different different models in them so this multimodal integration makes it way easier for us to integrate llm model into our application then there is chaining the concept of chaining is something like for example i am giving some kind of a input then inputs will generate some kind of output then that output we can use into our input again and this chaining goes on and on it's not about just input and output it could be anything if i want to uh, make my output in json format if i want to uh, integrate some kind of a tool so there is a chaining in every process so langchain make it way easier for this thing then there is a memory part you might have chatted with the chat gpt if you say what is my name is lakshit and then in the next question you ask what is my name it will respond your name is lakshit so how does it remember that what i said it's kind of a memory they store whatever we have asked in the memory format and in the next time whenever we ask it retrieve the data from the memory and give us the answer so langchain make it way easier to use memory into a system the next feature is tool integration our each and every llm model have some kind of a last date on which they were trained on so to fill this gap we have dif different different external tools which we can use of let's for example if i want to do some kind of a search let, let's say yesterday we had an ipl match it was between the i think kkr and rcb so if i want to ask a question who scored the most amount of run in the last match of ipl so our llm model is not trained on this data so it has it has to go to the internet search that data and give us the response so it connects the external tool which they can leverage and get the answer for so langchain make it way easier to connect this kind of external tools and get the answer so this was all theory in theory it sounds amazing the langchain has so many amazing features but we need proof so now we'll see the side by side comparison of direct llm integration and langchain code over there so now we'll see how langchain code makes it way easier for us to integrate the llm applications so this part of video will work in such sense that i'll first show you how does the direct llm integration code work then we'll see how the same piece of code will work in the langchain so for the first part in the multimodal integration this is a normal code where we can see how open ai um, integration works so on the left hand side you can see we have an open ai integration okay and in the right hand side you can see we have an anthropic integration 
in both the integration you can see that the calling part of open ai is different and the anthropic calling part is different and in the output format also in the output part also the way we extract the data in the open ai is different than the uh, anthropic part over you so this is just a small integration we are just asking a normal question what is agentic ai or any kind of a question still we have to manage two different parts over here so consider the complex application there must be so many different different parts where we have to handle the integration api call api outage and so many different things and let's see how does the langchain integration works over here so from here we can see just pass what kind of a provider you want let's say open ai and if the provider is the same you will get the output from the open ai and if you want the provider as anthropic you will get the output from the anthropic part over here and get the answer and that's it that's simple in the langchain part so in the initial video when i said i was sipping a coconut water in the beach if i could have integrated using langchain it just the change the provider name and i'm done i can just enjoy my vacation again so this is the one of the feature now let's see the another feature is called tuning so for this feature uh, we want the movie recommendation of whatever question does the user ask so we want in this sense where we have recommendations and we have title year genre director and reason okay and for the direct llm integration i have to specifically specify in the system prompt that please provide the answer in this format if we don't specify this thing it will provide in a uh, random format so prompting is very important so in this thing we can see that we have a system prompt then we have the user prompt and then we have the llm integration this all thing if work together then we'll get a proper answer this is kind of a code which will be required in the direct llm integration and we'll get the answer in the, at the end but let's see how does this work in the l normal langchain part so in the langchain we um, define the parentic um, data over here so it's very quite easy to see easy to read and easy to understand so over here we we provide we want title we want year we want genre director and reason and also we specify that we want list of this thing so we can see recommendations list of movie recommendation okay and there is something called a json output parser we pass the parentic object over here movie recommendation yeah and we'll get the parser part over here then we can see that we have a chat prompt template we you are a uh, you are a movie recommendation system based on user preference suggest movie recommendation and user preference in uh, format instruction the thing that you see over here in the blue thing will pass in the future part then there is something called as get format instruction okay this is the format instruction which we will pass over here and then we using llm part over here and this is the, this is the way how langchain does the chaining by this pipe method over here first we pass the prompt which is this uh, prompt part over here then you pass the llm which is this llm and then we pass the parser this is uh, json output parser which is there and just when you pass this thing you will get the same output which you got for the direct llm integration in langchain it's easier to read easier to understand how things work over you okay and one thing i forgot to mention over here is that in multi model part we have seen over here only the uh, open ai and anthropic but if you see the documentation you will understand there are so many different different uh, provider that they have indicated these are this is the list of all the uh, provider which are currently there yes you might be shocked because we don't know there are so many providers but yeah there are so many different providers which we can see over you but there is open ai olama so uh, i have not heard for so many providers over here but there are there are so many so from all these you can use any kind of a provider and you can directly integrate in the same sense that we saw code over here just press the provider just import properly and you'll get the answer in the same format in the same calling method okay so we have seen multi model we have seen chaining and now it's time to see the uh, message history over here uh, i think i explained earlier part okay now we'll let's see the demo part over here so in this thing we are just uh, this is the direct llm integration and code over here okay just typing the system part is a you are a helpful ai assistant then we are having a session id of the particular user who is going to interact okay then we are uh, uh, telling the model by default we are using the gpt uh, 40 mini over here okay and whatever kind of a message we get we store in the dictionary over here okay then whenever we get a message first we check the session id does the session id exist in my um, system over here if i get then i'll get the answer and then i'll append it to the um, user history message over here then we pass all that thing to the user and we get the response okay and using that response we get the answer so for example let's say session id is 1 2 3 okay i go inside this for the first time i won't get this session id because it is not stored then in the first part i'll just pass the message hi my name is lakshit okay and i'll get a response so you can see i got a response of hi 
Lakshit, how can I assist you? The second message I'm asking the question, what is my name? <clears throat> if I wouldn't have done this kind of a store history, I would have got a message. I am sorry, uh, I don't know what's your name. Something kind of uh, similar response I would have get. But since we have done this message history part over here, we are getting your name is Lakshit. How can I help you today? Okay, this is the message because it knows what is my name because I told them earlier. So this is the code of LLM, uh, direct LLM integration. So now, now let's see how does this happen in the LangChain. So LangChain make it way easier. So I'll tell you what we have done. So currently we are using the normal dictionary format to store the message. But what if I want to store the message in the Redis or Postgres or Elasticsearch or any kind of a different database over there, which is persistent. So this won't be persistent because if I reset my server, all messages are gone. Okay. So let's see how LangChain makes it easier. So we'll go to the uh, LangChain part over there. Okay. So this is the same thing that we build over there. We are having some, uh, we are having the base message history um, class from the LangChain core uh, history, chat history. And then we are having the chat uh, message history over here. So this is the normal um, in-store uh, memory part over there. But, hmm. but, but now if I want to just change my to Redis store, I can just do one thing. If I don't want this part, I'll just comment it and I'll just uh, uncomment this part. And that's it. You are done. You're good to go. Now your message will store in the Redis part. If you don't want Redis, you can go over here and comment this part. You can use Postgres, the database, MongoDB, anything. If I want to show you what kind of a different message history does the uh, LangChain provide us, you can go to this link. And from here, we can see there are so many different, different kind of a database which we can use. It could be AstraDB, Cassandra, Elasticsearch, Google Big Table. You can name and see it over here. Kafka, MongoDB, Neo4j, Postgres, so many different kind of a thing. <clears throat> it just import that part over here, use it over here and you are good to go. Okay, this is how it's done. Then we have the same mechanism of chaining part, prompt, LLM. Then we use the session ID. So over here you can see we have a session ID of 123. It's session ID which I have given currently. But if you are indicating front end, it could be some conversation ID which front end produce or back end provide. Then we can use this conversation ID over here. So we have 123 conversation ID over here. And we are passing my first message is hi, my name is Lakshit. In second message, I'm passing, hey, what is my name? So it gives us the perfect response. Okay, so one pro tip. So whenever you're integrating the message history over here, then always uh, bifurcate into multiple part. So in this example, we saw that what we are doing, we are getting, uh, we are passing the input, we're getting the response and then same response we are passing to the second output over there. But if we have a long conversation, storing all the message and passing into the uh, LLM, it is not recommended at all. So never do that thing because your context length will in exceed and you won't get the response. So instead of that, consider using LangChain combined memory. Combined memory means you can use multiple memory to store the responses over here. So we can use the buffer window memory. It's just a naming term. Just understand how they work. If we can use the buffer window memory to store the recent message. It could be five message, could be four message. You can define the threshold. So we can use this conversation summary memory. It will store the summary of conversation. For example, you have done the 20 to 30 different conversation with your LLM. So instead of storing all the messages, what you can do, you can summarize all the message into one single output and you can pass that output over there because it will have the summary to understand what your earlier message were. And this is how you can combine your uh, multiple memory and use in the production. This is the advisable recommended method. So now since we are done with the message history, you can check out the documentation. You can see how this thing work properly and use, create your own practical application. Just listening to the theory, just I'm explaining you doesn't mean you understand it. Until and unless you don't do it practically, you won't be able to understand how things work. So get your hand dirty and try it and you will understand. Now let's move to the tool part over here. So in tool part, what we are going to do, we are going to integrate the DuckDuckGo search. Okay. So if I want to do it manually, but direct LLM integration, I would have to get the um, URL of API of the DuckDuckGo. Then see the parameter, what kind of a parameter DuckDuckGo provide me. Then write the try exception part over there, write all the code for it. Okay, and then provide a different kind of a tools in which we can provide like search the web for the current information from DuckDuckGo. Okay, this is the prompting which will be requiring for the LangChain as well. But you can see we have to create a class for DuckDuckGo search and integrate all the methods which will be requiring over there. Then using that class, we can then search from the DuckDuckGo whenever the user asks such kind of a questions. But if you want to integrate tool using LangChain, you will get so many different kind of a tool. Let, let me show you what kind of a tool you can get in the LangChain. So if I open this link, by the way, you will get all this code from the GitHub link, which is provided in the description. So please check it out. And if you find any kind of a correction, if you can find any kind of a feedback, if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me LinkedIn, which will be provided in the description. Okay. So let's see how does the tools in LangChain look like. 
so these are all the tools so you can see the um, you can see the cursor in the right hand side if i go down 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 so many different kind of a tool and this is not it you can create your own custom tool and you utilize it if you want to see this creating your own tool then uh, how does the lang chain work everything in detail please subscribe to my channel because i am going to create such kind of a videos for for you you can also comment down what kind of videos you want in the future so i'll see what kind of video i can make and provide you okay so you can see we have a bling search brave search dr go search google search google sub gina search so these are all the integrations it doesn't mean this all are free some kind of a tool might require you pay so you can see over here free or paid this bing search is paid then brave search is free dr go search is free over here okay so let's go to the coding part again and in this thing just import the dr go search pass it in the search tool and you are good to go so over here you can see you can we can create a tool list okay then pass pass that tool list and search for the answer i have a question search and tell me what is llm so in this thing you can see that we are invoking dr go search result and asking the query what is llm and we got the answer you can compare the size you can see that i have just written this kind of a code instead of this line of code over here we have to create each and every tool from scratch handle everything handle every exceptions and everything over here okay this is how the tool works pro tip whenever you creating your custom tool please provide the clear and concise description i mean doc string over there because whenever the uh, llm will call that uh, tool it will first read the description and according to the description it will call that tool over there so now it's time for the main question when to use direct llm integration and when to use lang chain most of the time it's kind of a framework which you should use it could be lang chain i'm not saying you should always use lang chain or lang chain is better for you so like flask there is django there is fast data each and everyone has their pros and cons but they all serve the kind of a same purpose uh, spinning up your api you know, bringing up your server in the same way lang chain is a framework which help you to integrate llm applications okay there are other frameworks out there which is crew ai agno from uh, agno uh, earlier known as fire data there are so many different kind of framework which is which are coming into the picture so when to use direct llm integration if your application has very minimal uh, apis it could be one or two apis or when there is something which you want to do but langchain doesn't directly provide uh, support for it okay these are certain condition in under which you should use direct llm integration otherwise always go for the langchain integrations so to sum it up what we have learned we have learned that direct llm integration can be very difficult to handle it could be complex and it could be difficult to uh, maintain your code properly then we have learned what are the different different kind of features that uh, langchain provides then we have seen side by side how does the normal direct llm integration code works and how does the langchain code work over there then we saw when to use direct llm integration and when to use langchain integration if you find any kind of a useful information over here or if you want to see such kind of a video in the future please subscribe to my channel and press that like button because it helps the youtube algorithm to push my video to the relevant people who want to see such kind of video who are there into this ai domain if you are a person wanting to learn ai and agentic ai ai automation in the future please stick to my channel because i am going to prepare such kind of videos for you consistently if you have any kind of feedback any kind of suggestion drop a comment into comment box thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video